first, to build your audience, you're gonna want to create content, you're gonna wanna go join groups, you're gonna wanna go like pages, you're gonna wanna... Hey my friend, Jean-Serge Gagnon here, and today we're gonna to talk about how to use the BES framework, the Build, Engage, Sell framework that allows you to grow your audience and make sales on Facebook. We're gonna talk about how to use the BES on Facebook. But first, this. So the real question is this. What are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so just uh, so you know, this is an episode that's gonna be a little different. You see I'm walking right here, I'm actually on the beach. It's called Brackley Beach out in Prince Edward Island. It's all sandy beaches. It's a really nice beach over here. And I'm going to go for a walk, and as I do it, I can talk to you. But if you're listening to the audio of this, you're going to want to go check out the video at cis464.jsgagnon.com because, well, I'm not going to be sharing my screen today because I'm walking out here, but you're going to want to see these beautiful views, right? So, what is BES? What is Build, Engage, Sell Framework? Well... Build and Gage Sell Frameworks is exactly what it sounds like. It helps you to build your audience to get some sales, right? You've got to build your audience, then you've got to engage your audience, and then you sell your audience. So how does that work? All right, so on Facebook, you know that it's all about creating content. Well, maybe you don't. Okay, let's start from the beginning. So first, to build your audience, you're gonna to want to create content, you're gonna to wanna to go join groups, you're gonna to wanna to go like pages, you're gonna to wanna to do all kinds of things that allow you to get people to see you, get people to notice you, get people to comment on your posts, get people to um, engage, well, engage, like, right, share your posts. That's building, building your audience is all about having people see you more and more as you go, right? And, you know, on Facebook, what does that mean, right? There's lots of different things. We talk about creating content that your audience is interested in. So before you do that, though, you kind of have to know who your audience is, right? We talk, lots of leaders, they'll, talk, they'll tell you, you have to know who your avatar is. Who is your perfect customer? Who is your perfect prospect? Who is the one that you would actually love spending time with, right? That you would actually love to talk to, to help, to get them to reach their goals, right? Who is that? Who is that perfect, right? That perfect client, prospect, the one that you want to make sales to. Obviously, you want to sell to everybody. But the thing is that who is it that you're going to be actually enjoying selling to, right? Uh, so you, and that's why we talk about build, creating your avatar. What does that mean? What does creating your avatar mean? Well, we're talking about having a definition of who your ideal prospect is. So, you know, where do they live? How old are they? Do they have kids? Do they have, uh, edu what kind of education do they have? What do they like, right? Do they like, uh, they, the, what, how do they eat? Where do they, where do they go to, you know, where did they go to uh, for school? And maybe where did they vacation? All these questions allow you to define your avatar. And the reason why that's important is because when you're gonna be creating content on Facebook to build your audience, you want, especially those people that are close to who your avatar is to actually follow you and like you and comment on your stuff and be in your audience, right? 
those are the ones that you want to have as your you know perfect clients so you define your avatar and lots of times what I hear is people saying well I don't know who my avatar is uh, how do I find out well the secret is that you don't have to find out who your avatar is all you got to do is decide who they are <clears throat> so you might be thinking how does that work how do we get them to decide how do we decide who they are well you just make a decision and the thing is that if you're wrong then you can change it but typically if you think about who do you like to be around who do you like to engage with who do you like to help then chances are that that avatar is going to be perfect because you're going to be happy to have connected with them right you're going to be happy to help them and that's what it's all about right it's all about who is it that you want to help who is it that you want to work with right okay so that's when you want to build your audience you got to know who your audience is and then you've got to create content on Facebook that they're going to like, right? So if you're going to be posting, one of the things too that talk about is the kinds of posts that you will want to do, right? There's a percentage of posts on Facebook that needs to be uh, a maximum percentage, I should say, that needs to be your, uh, what's the word? About your product, right? You don't want to be talking about your product all the time because nobody nobody likes that nobody's gonna follow you if all you do is talk about your product right they're just gonna be like ah oh, that's just some guy that's trying to sell me stuff and whoops sorry that's just some guy trying to sell me stuff and he all he wants is my money right or else she wants is my money so you want to make sure that you're not going to talk about your product and that's why there's a rule called the 80 20 rule or the even the 90 10 rule so 90 percent of the time you talk about other stuff and only 10 percent of the time you talk about your product and we know you don't talk about your product by posting pictures of it or links to buy it or whatever you talk about what your product does for your ideal client right for your prospect who what will they get from your product not 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 about your product like you know are they gonna if they if it's a weight loss product <coughs> if you're talk if you have a weight loss product well they're gonna lose pounds right but that's not what they get from your product you don't talk about I mean sure you can say lose 10 pounds in a week or 30 pounds in a month or even 50 pounds in a month or whatever it is that you think they can accomplish but mostly you want to talk about the benefit they'll get from losing those pounds right like maybe they'll feel better with themselves maybe they'll sleep better maybe they'll breathe better like me I'm walking right here and I'm like huh, I'm starting to feel the thing right I've been walking for what seven only seven minutes <laughs> maybe I slow down but that's only because I haven't been exercising much but anyways that's beside the point you know if you're building an audience you want to make sure that the content you create for that audience you want to create content that will attract them so what are the kinds of content you need to create to build your audience well there's there's most there's like probably 10 different kinds of content but there's really five major ones and the five major content pieces that you want to create are uh, value posts, uh, entertainment posts, um, lifestyle posts, personal life posts, and promotion posts, right? So those kinds of posts, you want to make sure that your audience is interested in those posts, right? So say, for example, you post something that has to do with lifestyle right like lifestyle talks it's kind of like you know a picture of you at the restaurant or on a vacation or like me right here on the beach right that's kind of a more or less a lifestyle post that has to do with something that you think your audience can be interested in right 
So if you post about something that your audience can be interested in, well, they're gonna likely follow you, right? If you post stuff they're not interested in, they won't follow you. And that's okay. You don't have to have everybody follow you. Just the people that are actually interested in what you do, right? Interested in your stuff. So, yeah, so that's the kinds of posts that you need to be posting on social media, right? You need to be posting. Uh, it would have been better if I was walking this way, right? The lighting is better this way uh, for the, because the sun is up there in front of me right now. Don't you just love my hair? I don't. <laughs> my hair is awful. Anyways, so yeah, that's your content. So build is about creating content. And the other thing that's really important in, on the build side of your, um, on the build side of the VES framework. And by the way, the BES framework is not mine. I didn't invent this. The build engage self framework comes from a platform called MLSP. They've been around for 15 years. They're now called the digital Mem mentors. And they have been leading and teaching how to become a leader online, right? How to become, you know, somebody that your audience, how to build an audience, how to engage them, how to, all these things are so important, right? So first, like I said, you got to build your audience. And part of it is you got to have content that they're interested in, like I said. And the other part is you have to have a profile on Facebook that is super precise. It's got to be, you got to have a profile that they're going to be interested in. And that's going to kind of tell them what you're about without telling you them what you're about, right? I mean, me right now, my profile isn't perfect. I still have to work it. But one of the important things is you got to have a proper cover photo, a profile picture that's of you, your face. Um, and you got to be, you know, have a bio and a featured section. All those things are important that they have to be clear to whoever's looking of who, you know, what you're about. What do you promote? What are you building? Uh, why should they be following you? Because, you know, it's one thing to see one post, right? One post about something they're interested in, right? But that's not enough. Seeing one post is not enough, right? They have to uh, see you multiple times and they have to uh, go to your profile and see, oh, this is a person that I want to follow that I like. I like their post. I like their content. I like their profile, right? Like me with this view here behind me, which is... Brackley Beach in Prince Edward Island, Canada is a really nice place. Today's not very sunny, but still a little bit sunny. Look, the sun's up here, out behind me, right there. <coughs> Anyways, all right, so, um, okay, so that's building your audience, right? Building your audience, knowing who your audience is, creating content that they're going to be interested in, and making sure your profile tells them who you are, what you're about, why they should follow you, all right? So that's part of building. Building, super important, and you need to build your audience. If we're talking about Facebook, you build your audience on Facebook, right? Well, you can also build your audience in an email list, on other social platforms, all those kinds of things. That's all about building your audience, right? You want to use Facebook? Well, then those are the things you got to do for Facebook. Right, so number two, engage your audience. Build, engage, sell. So engage your audience is all about you being present like imagine you're at a barbecue right a neighborhood barbecue well building your audience at a neighborhood barbecue is very similar in the sense that you <coughs> people should know what you're about but also they should see that you're not just there to sell them something right if you're the you know the neighbor that's always giving their card and saying hey i can help you with buying a house or whatever <coughs> that's you know not I'm gonna attract everybody, right? So you gotta build <coughs> over time, right? You gotta build it over time so that people get to know who you are and what you're about. That's what building is all about. Engaging is having conversations with them, asking them about their life, about their likes, about their dislikes, talking to them about them, right? 
And on Facebook, what does that look like? Well, if they're po if they're posting content, then you would go to their profile, maybe, or even you can use the newsfeed, but it's not as efficient, right? You can go to their profile and comment on the post that they post, because you have to remember why are they posting on Facebook? Because they want to be seen. They want people to notice them, right? So you do that as you engage them. You make sure that you reply to any comments they have on your posts you make sure that they that you comment on their post on their profile you might send them private messages too that's something that i would recommend you do only after a while but you know for attraction marketing to build engage sell your audience one of the things you want to do is you want them to reach out to you right they want you want it to be more about them reaching out to you than you reaching out to them so you have to be engaging, you have to be connecting with them, right? <coughs> um, and that's really what it's all about, right? Engaging is engaging on their posts, on their content, on things that they are posting because they want others to see them, they want others to notice them, they want others to like their stuff, to react to their stuff to comment on their stuff, right? That's all super important. <clears throat> and if you are trying to build a business online, you're wanting to get some sales. So that's, you know, that's the last part. Build, engage, sell. As you engage on their content, as you engage on their on their comments, on your posts, as you r respond to questions, you're engaging them, right? You're getting them to notice you more and more. And then eventually you sell because they start to like you, they start to know you, they start to trust you. And then when you offer them something, they're actually open to hearing about it. They're actually interested in what you have to sell. And that's, that's what it's all about. Build, engage, sell is about building your audience, engaging with their content, with their comments on your posts, and then eventually you can sell to them, either them reaching out to you or you finally reaching out to them. And that's what the Build, Engage, Sell framework is, the BES framework, and how to use it on Facebook. This has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.